nine times out of 10, you don't really need a table for the drill press, but sometimes it would be really handy to have one. And that's usually when you have to make a whole bunch of repeated holes. So in this video, I want to make like a really minimalist uh, table for my drill press. All it's going to have is a fence and a stop and an easy way to get it on and off because I probably won't keep it on there all the time. Now for material, I just actually happen to have from a previous project this big piece of plywood here what's already doubled up so it's two pieces of plywood thick and that's what I'll use for the top. So as you can see, I didn't make it super big and that's because like it's kind of in the aisle way here and over the workbench here. I didn't want this thing to be massive. It's just mainly for small stuff anyways. So this is my size. What I'd like to do now is figure out a way to get this on and off here really simple. I don't even want to use any hardware if I could get away with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is recess about a quarter of an inch circle the same diameter as this. Now if these two pieces weren't already glued together I'd probably just cut the first piece out with a jigsaw and do that but where these were already laminated together I'm just going to put it in the X-carve and do a quarter inch recess. All right, I like it. So the x carve did a really good job of making a nice tight fit around my tabletop, but it was still able to kind of rotate side to side. So to combat that, pop it off here. I just added a couple keys right here and here, and they just made up with the slots in the table, and that just locks the table right into place. Nice and sturdy. So that's good, no tools or anything to take it off. That's what I wanted. Now, the only thing left to do is I gotta add a couple grooves in here for T-Track because that's how I'll uh, attach my fence as well as I need an uh, insert plate, so like a removable waste insert plate. So that's what I'll go ahead and do now. Alright, I managed to get the T-Track in and this nice long insert plate. Now, I didn't have enough T-Track to just do it in two pieces. I actually had to do this one in like two pieces by itself. Not a huge deal, but uh, yeah, it's all the T-Track I had. Now, the insert plate, uh, you might remember if you watched me build that cabinet, I ended up with a whole bunch of waste of this stuff. So, I just went ahead and cut a whole bunch of these. So, I don't have to worry about like use this up too quick or anything because I got a whole bunch of these to go through. And as you're drilling, you can kind of just move this around to get a new spot each time if you're trying to avoid that chip out. So the only thing left now is the fence. It's going to be super simple. Just two pieces of plywood laminated together and then cut to, I think I'm going to do inch and five eighths tall. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All 
great, so that's it for the fence setup. Really simple. You probably are wondering though, are you gonna put like a T-track in here for a stop walk? And that was the original plan, but like I was saying before, I ran into the T-track and I was thinking, really, why can't you just use a block? Now you put a block right there with the clamp. Just as simple, I think. And you know, if I do find it too cumbersome, I can come back and put a T-track in there. But for now, I think that will be fine. So I hope you guys like this project. And if you do, please hit that thumbs up button. And if this is your first time here, I'm like super close to that 100,000 subscriber mark. And I'd love to get that as soon as possible. So I'm Ryan Nodlow. Thanks for watching.